This is an electrical model of an economy. Now, in each of these blocks, there's hundreds of electrical components. So all of these blocks have many electrical components that you cannot see at this level. Now, this, these blocks at the left model the military, factory production, goods and services. And what the factory does is it takes resources and it converts these resources into goods that are purchased. And as more goods are purchased, the factories will draw more from the, the labor pool. This box models the labor force. It models the birth rate. It models the death rate. When someone is born, there's a 20 year delay while they become educated before they can be part of the labor force. This section up here models the government. It models taxation. It models debt. Everybody pays their taxes. No one gets out of paying their taxes in this model. In fact, everybody pays quarterly taxes. This box here models the banking system. And the banking system can actually create money. It's very interesting how that works. I'm going to get the simulation started here because it takes a little while to run. So I'm going to select run. And this little box comes up. It shows that we're about 10% through the simulation. And we're simulating for almost four decades. We're simulating for 37 and a half years, which is, I believe, about 450 months. And we're using standard simulation conditions. So every second of simulation time corresponds to a month of our real world time. So we're about 90% done. So pretty soon we're going to see our results here. And here it is. Now the blue curve shows the total assets in the economy. We see that looks rather healthy. The, the vertical axis is showing wealth and the horizontal axis here is showing time. So we see that the green is the total debt of the economy. And that's under control. It's maybe a little higher than we would like but it's not out of control. Now the red shows money that the government is printing by way of the printing press. And that is well under control. It's, it looks very good. So here we have a nominal run. Economy looks very good. The blue assets are increasing at a rate faster than the green debt. So I'm gonna do another simulation here. I'm gonna change conditions just a little bit. I'm going to edit parameters, change the sub-circuit parameters. There's a parameter here that is the interest on the national debt. I'm going to change it from 0 0.01 to 0 0.013 and click OK. And let's rerun the simulation with this increase in the interest of the national debt. The section over on the right shows test conditions for the simulation. Different interest rates are set here and here. And this particular box adds up all the assets of the different sectors and produces a sum of all the assets here. That we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. And this box here adds up all the debts from the different sectors and produces the sum of the total debt here. And again, we'll be looking at that. So we're almost done with our simulation and let's see the results. Okay, so here is a rather depressing scenario. Now, the blue assets of the economy increase, but then they fall off and the debt just runs wild here. That's shown in green. So the blue assets really fall off. The good news is the, the assets do not go to zero. They remain finite in this region. So there's some economic activity. Now the red is bailouts by the printing press. The government is forced to print money 
to keep the economy going. I'm going to change the scale here. So let me rescale the plot here. Auto scale. I'm going to change the horizontal time to 400. Let's click apply. So I, I've expanded this time out here where we're getting bailouts by the printing press. So the red here shows that the government has to create a lot of money during this bailout. And then there's a following bailout. And every bailout is bigger than the previous bailout. And the green is the runaway debt of the economy. And this blue is the depressed assets of the economy. So hopefully this scenario is not going to happen with our national debt.